All right, we're going live. <laughs> Stephanie, very slowly. This is the fun part. <laughs> is it the fun part? Um, some people think this is the fun part. Now is the fun part where I try to get the live section on Facebook to look. So I said, all right, it's happening now, guys. We're live. All right, so this is kind of an experimental uh, data live webinar. We decided that the past few were kind of so technical and heavy that we wanted to just have fun this time. Which really means my schedule of content ran out and this is our filler content, but it's gonna be fun anyways. All right, so I am joined today by two project managers and one ad specialist. So Miles, why don't you kick us off by introducing yourself and your pod that you are playing on behalf of. Yes, uh, I am Miles Baus, project manager for Pod Possible, representing Pod Possible. Okay, and Lindsay, who are you playing for today? I'm Lindsay, I'm also project manager and I am competing for the Peapod today. And then Caitlin, finally, which pod are you participating for and what is your role at data? <laughs> um, I am an ad specialist and I am uh, representing Pod Squad. Okay, so at Data, our team is basically built into three separate little teams that work tightly together on client accounts. And each of you are from a separate pod and therefore are deadly rivals. We don't get along at all. It's a fierce rivalry going back about six months. <laughs> Longer, no. Well, oh, so it's just with Miles or with Caitlin too? Mostly Miles, but then Caitlin gets up there too sometimes. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> she does some well, of my ad placements for me, so I can't get too mean with her. That's true. You don't want to, it, it's okay to make like another PM mm -hmm. your enemy, but your support staff, you really want to stay on the good side. Yeah. So okay. sorry, Miles. Today we have 10 questions. They're all multiple choice. I scoured the internet to basically make them, in some cases, as hard as possible, and in some cases, they should be pretty easy. Um, I think it'll be fun. So the way we'll play it, it's our first time playing this, so we'll see how well this works. I reserve the right to change the rules on the fly. Is first one with their hand up gets first answer. Don't yell out the answer, raise your hand and be called upon. If that person doesn't get it, then the next team will go. Um, if that doesn't work, we might start doing it in some kind of round robin rotation. And then the winner gets their very own parking space for a week at data marketing. Nice. So we're all right working from home. <laughs> <laughs> right up front, whichever space you want. <laughs> Come on, we're already giving away like $20 gift certificates for the TikTok challenge. So we have like no budget left for the prizes for the trivia challenge. It's a parking yeah. spot. <laughs> You're saving on the lunch and learns. You just have to do the learn. You don't have to do the lunch this time. Yeah, all that money went to the Amazon gift cards for the pod TikTok door. <laughs> okay. All right. First, I'm going to play some trivia music. Get us all in the trivia mood. Maybe. Okay, I guess we're just jumping right into it. All right, so our first question. Which of the following is not, right at this moment, a real Facebook setting? Ready, set, go. Lindsay. A. That's not a real Facebook setting. Oh. Anyone else? Miles. Oh, did you clap or is that a hand raise? That's a hand. That's my hand raise. That's not a hand um, raise, dude. I know. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with D, Aaron. D? D. D is in dog. Uh -huh. Oof. Oh. Caitlin. Um, you really C? All right. I've Thank seen you. that though. In your face. In what? <laughs> I've seen the pirate language setting. Was that used to be? Gone. I checked it. Ah. Uh, 
do study. You have now upside down English language study, which to me is not nearly as cool. Really kind of weird. All right, next question. Which of these terms is a common professional design term? I know the fun part of this is you all work with designers. So you've learned to speak their language. Let's see if you can translate. Ready, set, go. Okay, we've got a tie, but I think I saw Lindsay's hand just a little bit sooner. So because it was so miserable how you did on the last question, we'll let you go first. <laughs> oh no, I'm double guessing myself. Okay, I'm just oh. gonna go C. C? Uh -huh. Miles? <laughs> All right, pressure's on. Um, this is tough. Um, you know, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with B. Aaron Hero Image. I've heard that a lot. Okay. That your guess as well now that we know which one it is or where are you going with foo bar no it's hero well, image. I've, I've definitely heard hero image before on, mm -hmm. on websites so i i had to just go with that i was thinking you would maybe throw me a curveball so i was kind of considering a but i just went with b the the one that i've heard is a common design term but it is not a professional design term would be the distinction there okay all right which of the following does not impact SEO? Are we ready? Maybe. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, Lindsay, you were up first again. Reviews. Reviews does not impact SEO. <laughs> is that your final answer? Yeah. Why do you think we tell people to get them? For other purposes. I'm yeah, I suppose like they serve a nice way of letting people know that your business is decent, but also like they help Google. <laughs> okay, Caitlin, you had your hand up. Yeah, but now I'm second guess. Well, I wasn't gonna know it be, but now I'm like trying to think. <laughs> Um, Miles, any hand raising? Keywords. Is that your final answer? Yes. Yay. So this one's a tricky one because before Google was the king of SEO, meta keywords were how you did SEO. But in today's world, and since about 1995, meta keywords have not mattered one little bit. So I'm sorry, that was a tricky one. The others are, no, they're not nicer. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop guessing first in order to get like one knocked off. Okay, here's one for Miles. Oh, when was the hashtag? <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Caitlin. See? See? Yeah. Oh, that was a complete oh, guess. Awesome. <laughs> well done, Caitlin. I I didn't know that at all, so I just figured like I'll just guess. This is what you were her at the beginning. You telling her she's not going to win. Out of you now. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm in bad at keeping score, so that's a problem. <laughs> All right. Which platform came first? Are you guys ready? You should be familiar with all of these, but let's see if you can guess which one was launched first. Caitlin. Um, LinkedIn. LinkedIn? Is that your final answer? Yes. Hey, she's on a roll. <laughs> I thought that one was weird. I'm like, Twitter came after LinkedIn. 
but when I looked it up, yeah, I felt by I think one year. Okay. So LinkedIn has been boring for longer than pretty much anyone else has been around. <laughs> hey, don't hate on LinkedIn, Aaron. I like LinkedIn. I like LinkedIn when I'm working. <laughs> I don't like log on on the weekend to see what all my LinkedIn friends are up to. You don't? <laughs> I scroll through LinkedIn for hours at a time looking for the newest stuff. I go on LinkedIn to like put thumbs up on people I want to impress. <laughs> all right. So next one. Which of the, okay, this one's a mean one. I'll own up to it. This one's very mean and none of you should have an advantage here, I hope. Um, which of the following has never been a Google product. You guys ready? No, you can't be. <laughs> yep, Miles. Um, I'm gonna go with. I think this one is actually showing me wrong on my display. So we might have a technical issue with this one, but I know which one's right. Okay, I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with B, Aaron. You're gonna go with B? B is not real? Yep. Nope, that one's real, or was real. Lindsay. Ride Finder. Ride Finder was in fact real, but it's gonna tell you that it's not because I screwed up on this question. So I didn't get it right? We did not get it right. I was lying with this on accident. Great. <laughs> okay, so Ride Finder was legit. It was KV Finder Uber, and um, it wasn't strictly Uber. It was more looking for ride sharing, but it did exist, and then they killed it. Huh. So, Caitlin, it's down between Google Body, 3D anatomical images, or Google Pangolin, endangered animal education. Um. See, I mean, Google Pangolin. Google Pangolin was in fact fake, even though know, this question was set up wrong. So, <laughs> up thing also goes to Caitlin. Pod Squad's killing it. <laughs> oh, this one's just me. Oh. Okay, Caitlin has an unfair advantage. <laughs> Well, you say that, but now watch me fail horribly. Caitlin <laughs> has to go last on this one. I'm taking her winning chance away on this one. That's okay. not. It's, oh, it's not fair. That's <laughs> not how competitive games work. You know, competitive games work the way the person running them wants them to. <laughs> That's what I learned from my youth pastor. Okay. <laughs> Which of the following is not an advertising metric? And Carrie is watching this, so. Lindsay. Lindsay, are you sure? Because you raised your hand and now you're not saying anything. D. Hmm? D. CRM. <laughs> okay, for bonus point. What do all of these stand for in order? Oh. Uh, CPM is cost per thousand. CPC is cost per click. CTR is click through rate. And CRM is, oh no. Oh no, uh, so close to that bonus point. Uh, cost something, I forget. Lindsay, do you have it? I'm blinking. Caitlin, do you have it? C R M. Not an advertising metric. Yeah, I, I don't know what it stands for. I know what it is. I don't know what it stands for. It's customer or client resource management tool. I knew that, but no. <laughs> <laughs> client relationship management uh, i had two of the words <laughs> in other news i just realized we need to get you all pipe drive accounts again <laughs> <laughs> all right next question what was the first youtube video you ready yep 
Miles. Uh, I'm gonna go cat video. You would think so, but no. Lindsay with the slow hand. <laughs> Very unsure hand. Dancing baby video. Dancing baby video. Unfortunately, I believe that predates YouTube by a lot. Okay. B. That came a long time after YouTube. And <laughs> the answer is the first YouTube video was one of the co-founders of YouTube at a zoo. And it is to this day the only clip on his channel. Hmm. So for that round, y'all losers. I have to ask the question, Aaron, which zoo? <sighs> no clue, doesn't matter. Okay, next question. <laughs> Which of these, this is another mean one, I'll admit it, is not also the name of a web browser. Now you would be surprised if you Google web browsers, which you should not do for this question, how many web browser names are out. So I don't think there's any unfair advantage anyone could possibly have here. So, is it Lynx? Is it Aardvark? Is it Arachne? Is it Sea Monkey Miles? Um, I'm going to go with, uh, with D. You think Arachne was never a web browser? Yeah. Uh -huh. oh. Lindsay, okay. Caitlin, was your hand up or was your hand down? Because it kind of went up and then it went down. It was kind of up. So. <laughs> um, that links everyone of a certain age just groaned at you <laughs> <laughs> lindsay sea monkey see <laughs> artwork sounds like a real thing <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was. That was the one I thought was a real one. Nope. That's why I chose it as the fake answer. Mm. So for those last two, no points. I like this game. <laughs> okay. I don't like this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to make it like not too easy. So okay. How many dot com domains are registered right now? Well, to be specific, as of Q3 of 2019. Miles. I'm gonna go B, 2.3 billion. 2.3 billion dot com domains, said very confidently. Uh -huh. oh. Lindsay. Gonna go with the next highest number of A. A, 144 million. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong because I've been bad at keeping score. But I have Lindsay with three points, Caitlin with three points, and Miles with one point. Is that accurate? Sounds right. No, no. You guys are arguing. That's what we're going with. And that's it. So now I think we have to have a trivia off between Lindsay and Caitlin. Miles, I think you get to choose the question. <laughs> I get to choose the question. Mm -hmm. And let's, let's maybe make it a research question. So we haven't let you use Google for this. Miles, why don't you ask them a question about digital marketing? Because I know you have a bunch of, you know, you reading knowledge up there. And you guys Google it and we'll see who gets there faster. You're testing your research skills. Or are we testing our wife? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> okay. Uh, the question that I'm going to ask is how much in 2019, how much advertising spend was spent on Google? 
2019, how much advertising spend was spent on Google? Yep. Do you have the answer? Worldwide? Worldwide. Okay. I raised my hand. I was part. Okay. You... Huh? Were you first? I had my hand up. <laughs> when I said worldwide, I had my hand up. You can't put your hand up and say a question. <laughs> Aaron, who do you think got it? Uh, well, let's hear Lindsay because I did see her hand up first. Um, you did mean worldwide. Okay, so 333.25 billion. Caitlin, is that the same answer you got? Caitlin's frozen. We lost Caitlin. You might be throwing her computer out a window, which would be a good thing. <laughs> okay, Caitlin, you're back. Is that the same answer you had? I told you it was a test of my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what what what's your Google answer? Because Lindsay, what was your number? It was a big one. Thirty three hundred thirty three three point two five billion. Mm -hmm. That's the same as you. Okay, well, well is that actually the answer? That is the answer. Yes. I really expected something to do with Gary V there. Yeah, I didn't go with the Gary V card there. Uh, I have a second question, I guess. Okay, we'll, we'll take a second question and then we'll let everyone go at the 4.30 mark. Okay. Um, what was the first ever Instagram post? Okay. That's the most famous, or at least it was. It was. Remember when Instagram, like, wasn't a platform? It was just a filter thing? Got it. <laughs> well, this was a research one, right? Yeah, this was a research one. <laughs> okay. Then I got it. All right, what's the answer, Lindsay? It is a photo of a stray dog sitting near a taco stand. That's that so is sad. Bad. Is the dog still homeless? I don't know. Like, that's yeah. like a critical, they just left the dog there. Just like, hi, you're the first photo on Instagram. Have fun alone. They're petting it. I don't know. <laughs> That's well, not a feel in a warm place to live. It was a test photo from the co-founder. Mm -hmm. Co-founders need to follow up on their stuff. All right. Well, thank you all for playing. I think, Lindsay, the parking space is officially yours. Enjoy that front seat at the office. Um, short commute. You'll get to walk right in. You can even, you know what? You can take the handicap space Ooh. For, this, for this next week. <laughs> For the next week. Okay. Why did you go? You just wait. I'll show up there. I won't know. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys. Thank you for a fun happy hour. Um, I think we might try this again, but I think we'll probably have someone else choose the question. <laughs> <laughs> they will have Thanks for having us. Thank you. Have a Thanks. good one, guys. Bye. Bye.